Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the experience to perform a clean installation on Windows 11. This is not meant to be a tutorial, rather this is a demonstration to showcase the visual elements and the new process to install Windows 11 on your computer. I haven't done this before, so this will be a first. So as you saw on the beginning of the video, we have a new logo for the startup, but we still have the same experience to go through the initial process. And the first thing we're going to do is to click next. And now we're going to click the install now button to continue. As you can see, it appears that Microsoft will actually be calling the next version of Windows, Windows 11, and it will continue with the same editions like Windows 11 Home, Windows 11 Education, and Windows 11 Pro. Although the interface is still kind of the same as the previous version, we're seeing some subtle changes. As we can see, now we have a new scroll bar that has a new design, and now face in and out as we move the mouse pointer over the scroll bar. Now we're just going to use the custom installation option to perform a clean install of Windows. And since this is a brand new virtual machine and the hard drive doesn't have anything, we don't have to format or do anything to the drive initially. And pretty much everything is the same as before up to here. To start the installation of Windows 11, we're just going to click next now. And here we are in the new out of box experience. As you saw, we have new animations and we have new icons and it looks more colorful and friendly. And as part of the new design style, we're going to see a lot of rounded corners as, as you can see on the edges and when selecting an option. So in this first page, I'm just going to select the region and I'm going to click yes to continue. Here we're going to select the keyboard layout and then we're going to click yes to continue. We're going to skip that second keyboard layout. And as you can see, the steps are pretty much the same as the previous version. It's just now that we have a, a better user interface to complete it. Here we're going to select for personal use and then we're going to click the next button. Before we create a new account, I'm just going to click this option to see what that shows us. And here we have different signing options that we can use. But then I'm going just to go back and I'm going to sign in with my email. As you saw, we didn't see any option to create a local account. Uh, it appears that Microsoft is making it more difficult. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to go with the options that we have, but then later on, I'm going to check and see if, if we can actually create a local account throughout the out of box experience. Now that I typed my password, I'm just going to click the sign in button to continue. Now I'm just going to authenticate with my phone. And now this is experience to create a pin. You can also see that we have an underline using a blue color that we didn't have before. Apparently, if you click the cancel button, you can still use the regular password. I'm just going to click the OK button to continue. Wow, this is cool. Now we have an option that we, that we didn't have before, which is the ability to restore or sync settings from a different device to the new installation that you're setting up with Windows 11. You can either restore the changes or set up as a new device. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose the setup as a new device. And then I'm going to click next to continue. Here we can choose our privacy settings. Of course, you have to scroll down to get through all of them. 
you can enable and disable those settings and once you're ready you can click the accept button to continue but as you can see the uh, scroll bar is now the same as the one that we first saw on in the installation screen it's not a big deal but it's something to point out and like on windows 10 we have the option to tell windows 11 how we're going to be using this device and depending on our selection we're going to get suggestions for tips, tools, and services that we can use on this new version of Windows. You can also skip it if you don't want to. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose the first two and then I'm going to click the set button to continue. In here, we can control the settings for OneDrive. I'm just going to select the option only store files on this device. I'm just going to click next. And that's pretty much it. Well, now we have a new splash in the back while Windows is setting up. And that's pretty much it. That's how the clean installation process of Windows 11 looks like. And now we are on the new desktop experience but the purpose of this video was to show you how the installation process has been updated. But just to show you really quick before I end this recording, that we have a new start menu that no longer include like tiles. Instead, now it uses traditional icons. And we'd seen this design before when Microsoft was working on Windows 10 X and then the company canceled that development and said that was going to update Windows instead and it was going to bring all the best features for Windows 10 X into Windows 10. And from that, now we have Windows 11. You can also see that the start menu now floats above the taskbar and we have a new start button and a new icon for different elements on the taskbar. Aside from that, there is still a lot that needs to be worked out in this new version of the operating system. As you can see, if we right click the file explorer icon, the menu does not float above the taskbar and pretty much everything else is still quite the same inside of Windows. One new feature on File Explorer is now when you hover over the maximize button, we get options to snap the window in different ways, which you were able to do in the past just using the Windows key and the arrows but now having that visual aid is going to help a lot of people know how to snap windows in different places. And I think this is gonna help a lot on computers that have really large screens. As you can see, now we have options to snap a window in the middle of the screen, for example, and in different sizes. Okay, so I'm just going to end up the video right here. Remember to leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.